it, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. So I bought it. I came home and measured first, and then I went back and got. I had to get Roger to measure with me to make sure that we could make it work in that that window space. So. Hey, good morning guys. It's Julie from Fake Family and a Farm. We have some exciting stuff going on today. So the boys are at the school, but Effie is at her first day of homeschool. So we um, have struggled and struggled with this and she has had a rough year and school has just never come easy to her. And through much thought and consideration, we have decided to homeschool. So she, her last day of school was yesterday. This is a Friday. I am off every Friday, so she'll mostly be doing her stuff Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Some through the week as well, but we're doing the Abeka program. So there's some written, some videos. We are, um, she's in her second class right now in her room. She's got it all set up. Um, got lesson plans, very organized. I've got kind of a busy day here. I'm going to be available for her. I'm going to Try to move some goats today because they really need to move. I got a cow to check on who's due to have a baby any day. Um, the, some deliver people just got through delivering all of our new windows for our house because we're getting ready to do this weekend. This will be weekend number five that we've been working on the house. And so I think a lot of stuff is going to get done this weekend, like just some really visual stuff that, that you can see changing. Um, I may try to get some painting done today. That would be nice. Um, just a bunch of odds and ends. We'll check in with Effie in a little bit and just keep on plugging along at this house remodel. If you haven't already, you know, go and click subscribe. You know, we can see from our analytics that more than about 60% of the people that watch our videos are really not subscribers. So click over in that little button and be a subscriber and then you can know all the time um, what, we're, what we're up to. Love all the sweet comments we get all the time. People are just so so kind and so sweet and so encouraging for all the things that we we deal with but anyway maybe we'll have a baby cow this weekend and y'all can get to see a bird so we have about five due one that is super close i'll be up there around them a lot when i'm, I'm putting up that goat fence so how is it f good he's really funny we're learning about spelling right now oh good there's a bunch of stories this entire book stories Good literature. And then this one has a couple poems. So mm. we're going to be doing a lot of poems and stories. I love poems. I love stories. Mm. But we, we're we working in this one first. And we're just highlighting. Well, I'm highlighting. I don't know if anybody else is highlighting, but I'm highlighting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll keep plugging away. Y'all might end up getting to see a cow birth today. We'll see. That would be a fun video. Because um, Ruby's. If you look in the background there, I'm trying to turn the camera a little bit more. She's kind of facing away and um, kind of acting a little bit strange. You see her tail that is just kind of laid over to the side. She had a lot of mucus through the night because you can see it dried on her back a little bit. And she's just kind of standing off by herself a good bit. So I'm going to start working right here just to be taken. I, I've got the goats blocked in a, uh, an area that they have been in. And then I'm going to take up one of these small nets and start, you know, working it around. Um here so that probably in an area where some of these cows are actually we're going to start circling around there so they can eat a lot of this greenery stuff so the goats can clean up a lot of this greenery stuff here so if you just finished school she's going to come and tell you all about that in a second i am going to be working on caulking the trim around um the edges I am terrible. I mean, who is great at one of these? You could buy the little bitty tubes, but they cost freaking three times as much for a tube that's like half the size. So I, I'm going to be a pro at this before it's over with. If anybody's got any great tips, I'm all ears, but this is miserable. So, you too. No, and my fingers were wide. I had to scroll up. All right, here's Effie. So tell me about your school. It was all, it was good, but it was a little emotional. It was very frustrating. It was kind of frustrating since I couldn't really raise my hand. She wants to be able to raise. I walked by one time and she was raising her hand to the English teacher <laughs> just to play along. Hey. What was your favorite class? Uh, the Bible study class. Bible study class. And what about after that? 
After that, then I have my cooking class, and it's really fun. She, a lot of them, she did just like tips and stuff, like uh, put the knife by the sink. And close the cabinet doors. And what what was the one thing I tell you all the time? Put things what? <laughs> Where they go. Oh my God, it's like, gee, I could have been an Abeka teacher. <laughs> anyway, all right, so day one in the books. Six success. I think it's success. You look taller today. My hair is longer. No, you really look taller. Look at you. You're like up to my, oh, I'm going to be the shortest one in the family. I know it, and that's okay. Whoa. Oh, stop. So, anyway, that's the first day. I'm going to try to get all this caulked. i got to pick Colin up in about 20 minutes, and then i got to pick Carson up for basketball practice in about... My hair looks longer. An hour. I'm going to let it go out in the wintertime. Okay. So, i got to pick Carson up in about an hour, and then I'll drop him off here so he can help get some stuff done around the farm, and then me and Effie's got to run to town and grab a couple quick things, and then we'll come back, and I think we're going to have um, shrimp tacos for dinner. Getting some of the nutrient on. Oh, that one's gonna run by. Have another top piece on here. So on a trim. Now I need to get in here and caulk all this. So you can see we changed the way the door frames look. Well, this is what they used to look like. Of course, just this. All right, so it's not everything so dirty right now. I swear, but. So then this will just be plain and all this will be painted, which is plain. All right, so all the trim around the doors is in and around the baseboards. Now I'm gonna get busy again with my caulking gun and go caulk all the edges around the top of the trim. I'm even gonna go on the bottom of the trim because we don't, we're not putting um, quarter round on the bottom, it's just plain. So I'm gonna put a small little bead between the, the trim and the, the concrete floor too, just so that it's smooth. We have a, a kitty cat that comes in and out and we have Lola sheds a little bit. And so I don't want dog hair and stuff getting in those little corners. I'd rather it be just a smooth, um, smooth edge. And then he is working right now, working on getting ready to take these windows out and put the new ones in and then trim will go around those windows. And as soon as I caulk everything, hopefully I can get some of this done and then I'm gonna break out the sprayer here in a little bit. So I've been caulking like crazy. I'm almost done. I'm on this last wall here. Um, but just ran out. I way underestimated how much cost. I've already went through two tubes. So probably another tube would be fine. I gotta go scrub all this off my fingers. That's gross. So I'm gonna have to take a break and get some more and then come back and then hopefully I'll get to break out a little paint today. Kind of excited about that to see how it's gonna work on um, on this wall of spray night. Okay, guys, we went to Lowe's to get more um, caulk. So I'm fixing to get busy um, on that. But have to tell you, every time I go to Columbus almost every day for work or for some reason, errands or groceries or whatever. And um, so we go by, there's an antique store called Daniel's Wood and Den. And I know my parents have been there a couple of times and I've always said, oh, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop. And, and I just, I just haven't, and just have not made time to do it. So I told Carson when we went in, they were so open. I look, we looked at what time they opened, they were open until six. So I said, ooh, let's, on the way back, let's stop in there. I just wanna see if by chance they have a piece of stained glass. I'm wanting in my mind to get a piece of like stained glass to go maybe at the top of this kitchen window when this window comes out. That window will overlook the door that's gonna come into the mudroom and into the house when the garage gets converted to living space. And so just kind of been looking. I just had this idea like two weeks ago, so I haven't been looking for a long time or anything like that. So I went in and I asked Lady, she was so nice, Miss Cindy, and so I asked her, you know, if she had any stained glass. So she said, oh, you know, let me see. So one piece, it was up vertical, it was too small. And she said, oh, you know, there's some back here. Girl, it, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. So I bought it. I came home and measured first, and then I went back and got it. I had to get Roger to measure with me to make sure that we could make it work in that that window space. So it is a huge 32 by 38 piece of like leaded glass. And I guess stained, I, I guess it would be leaded glass instead of stained since it doesn't have any color. Somebody can tell me how that works because I'm not sure, but it's, you know, like the stained glass look. Um, so this is going to go over my kitchen sink when we get to that stage. And we are probably months away from that stage. But I am beyond excited. That's exactly what I wanted. It's going to be gorgeous when you walk in my room. And I'm kind of on cloud nine about that. I need some good news because Matt backed into my car today, backing out of the driveway. That made me in not such a good mood. So that was great. I have a little dent in my door. So I was in kind of a poopy mood. 
So I'm glad I found my window. In other words, I'm gonna turn the camera around. I'm gonna show you what, what all Roger's this working on now. Current kitchen and then this doorway. This kitchen is gonna move all the way back to where this new wall is. So this new wall, so this whole space will just be, my kitchen will be pushed further out. My stovetop will be here. Sink will stay in the same place and then countertop will wrap all the way around back. So I'll have bigger counter space. So it'll go from there all the way to this new wall is what that'll be. This was my old dining room. But you remember our sunroom now is our dining room. So this is the opening for that butler's pantry. So this will be where a uh, little coffee station is and then refrigerator, or double, yeah, double oven and the refrigerator will be on the end. Um, and then that, all that cabinet will be gone. This will all open up. So wall, frame for the wall is up. The This window will come out. All the windows in the house are gonna be replaced. So he hasn't replaced that window yet, but that window will come out. And then um, that sheetrock came down. So when you walk into here, this will be where all that cedar that we cut will get planed and then put all over these walls. So this will be a wall. This will be a wall, wall of shelves here, wall of shelves here, wall of shelves all the way up to the um, window. And then there'll be um, some more shelving. I think I'm contemplating putting a countertop here along this edge a little bit, just so we I have somewhere as a wider counter and then shelving above that. So just super duper excited that this really is like the biggest pantry that I could have ever wanted. This is the old door I just bought to go in that space. So obviously it is old, it needs sanding, it needs some love. And um, it's got this cool old piece here. I need to find another, and I'll take this off, I'm sure. And then I need to find another something here. And then this will, I'll fill in with, with something. But anyway, just wanted an old door to go there, so I'll clean this up and still make it look real old, but that'll be my pantry door. And it, again, will be a swinging door going into my pantry, so it swings both ways. I remember when I was telling Roger I wanted a swinging door, and he said, he said you know, wanted to open in. I said, well, no, I wanted to be able to swing both ways. He said, why would you want it to be sw swing both ways? And I said, because when I go in there and get something, and I have my hands full as the cook, then I want to come out, and I'm going to use my booty to come out of there. <laughs> so that way I can just back up and push through and come right back in the kitchen. So anyway, I just wanted to share with you those couple of finds. I'm so excited about my window and progress. So I am going to, these people are gonna be on their own for dinner and I am going to get busy walking and painting. So you see Matt helped me tape up the windows, our brand new windows. I've got some of the ceiling taped up about 18 inches. And then we've got, I've got the, the baseboards taped up. The baseboard, they're prime because it was a prime board. They're not, I'm, they're gonna still have to be painted, but obviously I don't wanna get paint on them. So I am gonna be trying this Wagner, this is a Wagner 3000, Flexio 3000. Um, I've watched several videos about painting walls with it. We have always rolled our walls and brushed the edges, but now we're gonna try to paint it with the sprayer. So I'm gonna put this on a little bit of time lapse and let you see how it goes. This may be a total flop, but I feel like it's worth a try as much as we have to paint because if it works, even though the prep takes a little bit of time to make sure that overspray doesn't get anywhere, I do certainly feel like it would be way worth it. So anyway, here goes. for about an hour before you put a second coat on it and then the second coat I guess two to four hours. Matt did go over a couple areas that were a little bit lighter so I'm gonna stay awake and not shower for a little bit longer so I can put a second coat on that and it works super well. I would say that that is a very good job Wagner. We love it. I'd like to have the floor model so they didn't have to hold that thing up. We got about 10 more rooms to paint so I would say that if we um uh, that if we use that and it holds out through all those, it'll have well been worth the money that we spent for it, for sure. Many times over. All right, good morning, guys. It is um, Sunday, it's after lunch already. Just got to eat lunch, got some collars on the stove. I wanted to turn up greens, but they were out, so collars it is. 
just gonna show you a little bit. So we have the window coming in. But we do have drywall and lighting in progress. So I'm trying to get the new window set in. The boys are back at archery this Sunday afternoon. So me and Effie getting in a couple of miles while they're doing that because I'm not a good just sit around person. Helps hold me accountable. Effie says, hey, got to guess with us today. La, la, la. No, no. So we're going to finish up our couple of miles here and go back and wait on Carson. Then we're going to pick up a couch that I bought. It's actually a Monday. I'm going to wrap this up. I have started painting the baseboards. So you can see I've got it taped to protect the floor that's already finished. Um, that's our stained concrete. This is our old floor. I am going to put a new coat of polyurethane on it when we're all done, but just to protect, to keep from getting paint on that floor. That's taped, but you don't have to protect the wall because I haven't painted the wall yet. So the wall will come next. So it's easier to tape up that baseboard than it is to tape up wall. So anyway, kind of figured that out last night when I was looking at some videos. So anyway, I'm doing the detail canister on the Wagner Flexio 3000 and it's doing a fantastic job so far. Very easy, this is latex paint. So anyway, we're gonna get this wrapped up. That's weekend number five. If you're not subscribed, click up to the subscribe button. Subscribe to us so you can follow along on this crazy remodel. And by the way, Ruby still has not had a baby. It is insane. That crazy girl, she is still just hanging out like a loose tooth right there. So we have five mamas that do really any day. Ruby looks the closest, so we're just checking on her several times a day and hope she has a baby soon. Y'all have a great, great night. We'll see you soon. Bye.